But the way I see the technological um, challenges in the space today is that um, it, it's, it's really a fragmented um, space. There's lots of different companies trying very creative things, um, but none of them really interoperate. They're, you know, some are having success in their in their in their space, but um, there's there's no thought to how each one of those providers can interoperate, um, and so that's um, the, the the problem they're really trying to, to solve. It, it would be like you know in the old days, uh, and that you having to use a Netscape browser for um, a specific set of websites and a Microsoft browser for another specific set of, um, of websites. Um, and, and it's up to the user to have to try to figure out that mess. And anytime the user has to figure out that kind of mess, uh, it's, yeah, it, it's, it leads to an unhappy consumer or user. Clearinghouse concept is really all about interoperability. We are providing a standards-based approach for all of those players out there and new ones who come who, who can all interoperate in a cohesive ecosystem. Providers of new applications um, will have a very well-written, specific way to interoperate with the rest of the ecosystem. The benefit to, to consumers is, is really I only need one app. I can use the app uh, that, that um, I'm comfortable with. It's also you know, beneficial to, to product owners in that um, they can mint a code, they can control completely how that code resolves, what services are provided by that code, under what context the services are provided. Um, and, and so it gives each participant a you know, really an enormous amount of control and ownership over their, you know, their, their piece of it. Interconnecting into the clearinghouse is, is very easy. There's um, three points that various providers have to connect with, with the new star clearinghouse slash registry. The first and foremost is um, the, the readers. So when a um, consumer or user scans a um, barcode, that reader is decoding the symbol into um, a, a, an abstract string of characters. Then the reader has to discover the data behind that code. And so that happens by the reader sending to the clearinghouse the code um, through a um, well-defined um, HTTP web service endpoint that we've um, published. The second type of connection is for the um, folks that are running a delegated barcode. Um, and so if the code is delegated, and all codes um, are, are typically delegated, the clearinghouse would make a call to a delegated resolution server. And so that call is again a pretty simple, well-defined HTTP-based web service. The third interface is simply a way to provision authorities within the New Star Clearinghouse. And we provide two mechanisms for that, a, a, web, um, a web GUI for um, a user to enter that stuff, um, or an XML-based API for um, our customers to, to um, be able to provision codes in, in volume that want to use the API. We use a, a delegated based namespace and the delegation point enables the owner of the code, be that a brand or a service provider um, or a campaign manager, whoever owns the delegation point, that allows them to run and operate their own delegation server, um, which allows them to control how and when the code is resolved, what data is returned when that resolution occurs, um, without having to tee anything up, without having to pre-provision any information in the New Star Clearinghouse or any other servers within the ecosystem. Um, they're in control of that, that namespace.